Divers, Allie Pierce, Allie Pierce, Scuba, Tech Tips. Now, <laughs> honestly, Tommy, honestly, you folks, almost every diver who's been diving for more than six months, two years, has his own weight belt. If you assume you use a weight belt, if you dive in, in a northern area, anywhere in the United States or Canada or northern Europe, you have a weight belt. The weight belt has a buckle on it. And of course, it's a quick release buckle. It's a quick release buckle because the book said so. Now, you know the book said so because you want to be able to drop those weights if you want to. But anyway, answer me honestly. How many of you have actually taken the buckle apart and put it back together? Or did you, did you just take the weight belt from the dive store and put the weights on it and off you go diving? I'll bet you, if you're honest, most of you have never taken the weight belt buckle apart. You've never pulled a strap out and put it back together. You should do it at least once just so you know how to do it, that you can do it. Certainly if you rent your weight belt, so a lot of people do, certainly if you're diving south you do, you never even look at it. Put it around your waist, cinch it up, off you go. Right. Well, you know, there's more to threading a weight belt, weight belt buckle, than just letting somebody else do it. It's important. This is important. First of all, weight belt buckles come in different styles, okay? Usually the weight belt buckle is something like this. It has a flap on it. It's usually Cyclac plastic, which quite frankly is my preferred weight belt buckle material. I'll tell you why. Uh, uh, you know, you remember how long I've been diving. They didn't even have this stuff back then, so they were all metal. And a lot of people still like metal, stainless steel. <clears throat> they seem to think they're stronger or better. Well, they're no stronger. If they were stronger, they would make your steering wheel of your car to stainless steel, but it isn't stronger. This is flexible and yet strong. Anyway, that's another story. Uh, these don't rust. Yes, guys, sorry, stainless steel rusts. And thirdly, if you drop your stainless steel, your steel buckle on the ground, or someone drops a weight on it, or you step on it or something like that, the weight belt buckle is ruined because it gets distorted and you can't re-straighten them. They never work properly afterwards. These things, they can break. They can break. I've seen maybe five in 50 years in the business. It just seldom happens. And the lifetime guaranteed. If it breaks, take it back to the dive store, get a new one. Maybe you should carry a spare. In that unlikely possibility, most likely you're selling it to somebody else. But anyway, this is a typical weight belt buckle. And it has slots in it. Now you can see here that this particular buckle has a slot ahead of the buckle. And it has three slots behind the buckle. Now, very commonly, it only has two slots back here. Just two. Not three. This one has three. So you have four slots. One buckle, one belt, four slots. Now, tell me this is as simple as it, as it looks. No, it is not. I went to the rental. I went into our rental department there, and I picked up four weight belts. Pulled them out. Four weight belts, three different ways they're threaded. Let's take a quick look at them. Here's one weight belt buckle. Now, this particular weight belt buckle has only two slots in it. One, two, three. Oh, this is three. This is three slots in it, Kevin. What are you talking about? These have three. You got me all screwed up over there. But I want you to look at the side. Can you look at the side here? I should do it this way so it makes more sense to you folks out there. I'm going to hold this right here, Kevin. We're going to watch this weight belt buckle. This weight belt buckle, and remember, there's three slots at this end. One, two, three, and there's one up here. So this weight belt buckle goes into the farthest most, or the number one slot, let's call it. We'll, let's number them. One, two, three three, four, okay? And this was it. The, the belt goes into number two, underneath, out through number one, back, into number three, and into number four, and out the end. You see that? Okay. This one, just quickly, this one goes into number four, underneath, out number three, <laughs> to the front, down through number two, back into number four, and then out the back. You see that? And then the next one, how, how's this one done? Well, this, this, this one's really simple. This one goes into number three. You see here, can you see that, Kev? Goes into number three. I can't hold this one still. The weights are too heavy. Goes into number three, out through number four, and done. So there you are. There's three different ways to do it. So number one, the first thing is that there are different ways to do this. And to some extent, how it's done will depend a little bit on your buckle. So how do you know what to do? How do you know which way to do it? Well, a couple of things. First of all, let's take this buckle right here. The first one we looked at. Looks like this. A weight belt buckle works because you have a buckle like so. 
the belt goes into it, this is a loose end, goes into it, this snaps down, listen, snaps down hard on that, supposed to, anyway, this is brand new, snaps down hard on it, and now there's a cam in here, and the harder you pull, and the harder you pull, the tighter it gets. As you pull, the buckle is jammed down tighter and tighter and tighter, it can't come off. It's called a cam action buckle. That's an old term, but there you go. Now, this is dependent on this buckle actually going down all the way. Surely you can understand if the buckle only goes this far, it's not going to work. This will slip out. This will get knocked and slip out. If it goes down halfway, it's a little better, but still it can slip out. So the buckle has to go down all the way to the bottom. Almost snaps down. A little bit like a tank band buckle. If you saw that video I did for how to thread a tank band buckle, I, we talked about it snapping down hard. And the cam works really, really well. Now here's the problem with some of these buckles. The way that people are threading them, they end up sometimes with one or two or even three layers of belt buckle over here. Now when you try to put the cam down, it can't get down. It hits all that damn darn, did I say damn? All that darn webby and it can't lay down flat. Look, that's not going to work. That's going to come off for sure. If you have a weight belt like, like Kevin, I mean Kevin uses about 43 pounds of weights. If you have a weight belt like Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> and then he puts on his dry suit. <laughs> Wait, but like Kevin, this is a lot of strain on it. It's going to pop open in no time. So the most important thing is to make sure that you have no more than one layer of belt underneath the buckle after it snaps down. Sometimes you might have two, but certainly not three. Here's an example right here. Well, this has two. This has two. This one has three. So here's what I'm going to suggest you do, if you can. Take your weight belt buckle. I only get in here now, Kevin. I can't lift this up. It's too heavy. <clears throat> Put it on my shoulder, maybe. How about that? Let's do that. Ah, it's getting old. Take your weight belt buckle. Here's the weight belt buckle, okay? Put it up through number four, down through number three. Don't use number two. You don't have to use them all. Then back out number four if you want to. Now watch. You see how that comes down? Listen. Works perfectly. You see that? You're going to put your belt through there, snaps down, holds it. Now, you don't like that tail sticking out? It's not a really big deal because if that tail is sticking out, it actually helps you to guide your loose end in. You see? Put it on top and slide it through. actually helps to guide it. You don't have to look for a, just a slot. On this buckle, you have to find that slot to stick the end, other end in, right? With this buckle, <clears throat> where do they go? With this buckle, you don't have to find the slot. You know where it is. It's right on top of that loose piece of belt. Stick it in like so. Just It pops through on its own. That's handy. If you don't like it sticking out like that, great. Pull this around underneath and then get a weight belt keeper. You know what a keeper is, surely. Just a, another piece of Cyclac with two slots and a bunch of teeth. Get a weight belt keeper. Let me show you. I got one right here. Take a weight belt keeper. Just one second there, Kevin. Keep the camera rolling. And you put that like that. And you put that like <clears throat> that. This end is not perfect. Like so. And then you pull that like that. Yeah, sorry, I almost got it here. <clears throat> right. As I say, it's not it's just as easy as it looks. That goes like that. So now you have your buckle, and this loose end is now pulled back and held by a weight belt keeper. It doesn't go through another hole, this still comes down hard. You hear that? You should hear that. Now it's held by the keeper. Now this is not a bad idea anyway to put a keeper on there because now, watch. Aha! If you don't have a keeper there, the weights can slide, and if the weight slides right down, it could get under the buckle but not when the keeper is there. Anyway, the point to all this is, folks, there's different ways to thread a weight belt buckle. Don't assume that the weight belt buckle comes from the manufacturer or even from the dive store clerk or the rental agent. Perfect for you. Take a look at it. Your own and even rentals. Take five minutes and look at it, unthread it, put it back and find out the best way. Don't forget about the snap. It's got to come right down nice and hard. If you like that loose end sticking out, great. If not, get a keeper and stick it on there. There's different ways to thread a weight belt buckle. Find out what works for you. Hopefully these ideas, and try that cam action, make sure it's coming down firmly. Take a look at your own weight belt buckle and see what will work best for you. 
It's a nuisance when you lose your weight belt. I've done it a few times. It really is a nuisance. Anyway, there's something to look at, something to think about. Hope that helps a little bit. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips. Talk to you soon.